Hello everybody, it's Bulbachu here. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. Today, we are hopefully finishing Ender Lilies. Um, game plan. Last time we pretty much explored everywhere that I can think of. Unless I'm missing something, it's possible that I'm like not seeing something. But it looks like we're uh, pretty much done. I'm not seeing anything. Um, so what we got to do is, I think the ending to the game is down here. So we got to do that, obviously. But first, we got all the stone fragments. So we got to go to the left here and see what this curio over here is. Um, see what that ends up being. Hopefully it's a powerful item something maybe it's like a revive token or something that'd be kind of cool i wonder i'm curious i think we're at the end i'm curious to see what the end boss for this game is especially since we'll be essentially at full power so we're very close to level 100 i think I might just, we should grind a little bit just to get up to 100. We're so close. But we'll see. We'll see how all this down here goes. Wait, have my feet always been like bloody like that? I don't think so. Honestly, I never really look much at the, um, like the, the avatar, the character that we play as. Wow. I never, I, Jesus, I never noticed that she had that red stuff coming out of her hair. I wish, uh, like, I wish we could zoom in more and I never noticed her red feet. Is that new? That just happened recently or something. All right. Restore power to the lost amulets. Perhaps performing the ancient spell here will unfeather the protective power of the white priestess within your amulet. I'll decipher the stone tablet that we piece together. Relic. Uh, Luminant Aegis Curio protects from the pain of purification. An amulet whose form and power were restored by Phaedon's magic. The ancients crafted it long ago and dubbed it the Aegis Curio. The power it holds lessens the suffering caused by the blade during a priestess purification ritual. With any luck, it'll ease the burden purification that's placed on you. Achievement unlocked. Reborn. Restore power to your lost amulets. Okay, let's see what the consequences of those actions are. It causes zero. Uh, Amulet whose form and power were restored by Phaedon's magic. The ancients crafted a long ago and dubbed it the Aegis Curio. The power it holds lessens the suffering caused by the blight during a priestess purification ritual. Okay. And that, ca that causes zero. That almost guarantees it's like some special ending. Cool. And probably the good one. So, awesome. So what do we got left? That's it. We just gotta go. I should have just clicked up. That's okay. Here we are, we're right here. All right, let's see if we can just do a tiny bit, just a little bit of um, farming. Uh, we're so close at this point that I doubt this is going to take very long. That, that gives us so much experience. Oh, jeez. Well, while we're down here. Anything that... No, nothing to kill down here. Wow. Alright. 97. Let's keep going. 
forgot about those guys. <laughs> Normally a uh hmm. Alright, let's keep going. Those experience boosters are very nice. They definitely make a huge difference. Look at that. We're already almost through. Well, not really, but we are pretty far into 97, considering that we just got here. So this is actually going to be pretty easy. Unless, like, the jump from, like, 98 to 99 or, like, 99 to 100 is huge. It shouldn't. Hopefully it's not. Then we should be through this pretty quick. I just got to kind of run through this area, I think. Oh, do those guys not give experience when they die? Interesting. Uh-oh. Let's see how much these guys give. Ooh. Okay, a little bit. Far so good. So I'm thinking, like, what's the next like game that I'm gonna play like in this manner, right? Like the or YouTube kind of like I could play nice and slowly, uh, Metroidvania esque, and I think I'm gonna do Blasphemous next. Blasphemous 2 came out recently. I've been wanting to play Blasphemous forever. Um, so that would actually be pretty exciting for me, just based on that. Ow. Oh, I'm out. Shit. I run out of that one very quickly. So I'm kind of like I've been wanting to play Blasphemous since like since it came out like since I saw it being like on Steam or whatever. Uh, it's a very beautiful game and it seems kind. It's I guess it's not a Metroidvania. It kind of it's Metroidvania-ish, but not quite. Um, I I heard the second one is actually way more Metroidvania-like. So. So that kind of excites me. I, I want to play that. Man, we are way more powerful now. So hopefully it's a good game, uh, and I enjoy it, and you enjoy watching it. We'll see, though. Who knows with these kinds of things. Hopefully it's not too hard. It's supposed to be pretty hard. <laughs> I would like to be able to finish it, so hopefully I can. Uh, 
Ja. What? What the fuck hit me there? Oh my goodness. That's alright. We're already almost 98, and we just hit 97, so feel pretty good. I think it's supposed to be pretty hard, so hopefully it's not too hard. I feel like this game's got like a good difficulty, oh my gosh, a good difficulty balance, right? Like there's definitely been really hard parts of this game, but it's never been unsurmount, obviously never been unsurmountable for me, which is good. There you go. 98. And then I've been hearing really good things about Blasphemous too. So it seems like whatever might not be like the greatest in Blasphemous, the sequel definitely addresses a lot of it. And oh man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, and then we're going to continue recording Starfield uh, and streaming Armored Core 6. I'm not sure what I'll do afterwards as far as streaming-wise. And then as far as um, just recording-wise, Starfield is going to take forever to get through, so we'll probably have to find another... Well, the other game will be... Um, oh my gosh, Blasphemous, right? So... Always looking for what's next. I don't know why, like, I can't just be... I'm always like, all right, what's next, what's next, right? I don't know why I can't... I can't just be, like, happy with... Oh, come on! Oh, my goodness. All the way down here. Teleport. So let's go to one of these. There you go. Let's go there. Um. Yeah. So. It's also it's September now. That means it's getting really close to Teratober. We might have to start Teratober maybe a little early because there's just so many games I want to play for Teratober this year. Um. We'll see. Maybe. I don't even... I'm not even quite sure exactly what I want to play yet for Teratober. I got some ideas, but I don't know. I don't have, like, the full list or whatever. Um, like, for example, the Resident Evil 4 remake came out. And so, obviously, it's like, oh, Resident Evil 4. That's awesome. As far as uh, my channel is concerned, I haven't played it um, for, the sh for the channel. Uh, on Twitch or on YouTube. And that's the next one on the list, right? Because I did Code Veronica last, and so now it's Resident Evil 4 time. So the question is, do I play the remake, or do I play the original and save the remake for later? I don't know. Kind of like, I kind of want to play the remake, but then... Am I going to want to play the original after I played the remake for stream, right? Like... Should I maybe just do the original and then save the remake for the next year or something? When it's not still brand new? Ah. So th those are the kind of things that I'm like thinking about, right? Like, how do I want to go about doing this? It's also like the Dead Space remake came out and I did want to play the Dead Space franchise for like Terratober and stuff. 
So then do I play the original Dead Space or do I play the remake? And then, like, I kind of want to play Dead Space because uh, Callisto Protocol also came out this year. And I guess it's not that great according to, like, what people are saying about it, but I still want to play it. And I think that, like, juxtaposed against Dead Space would be, like, a really cool... Um, like, just a cool way to experience that. Like, play one and then play the other. Because Dead Space is great, and I buy for everything I'm hearing, the Dead Space remake is pretty damn good. So it's like, I know one of them's gonna be good. So what would that be like, you know? And then Alan Wake 2 is coming out. Um, I really want to play that, but I probably won't play that for this year's Terracobra, just because, like, everyone's going to be playing it anyways, so if somebody wants to watch that being played, there's going to be a million options for that. But also on top of that, like, um, I played Control when it came out, loved it. I thought it was one of the best games of that year, and also, like, just one of the better or best games to, like, period. It's amazing. But I never played any of the DLC. And the DLC is, like, and Alan Wake 2, you know, has connections to the DLC because they did a whole Alan Wake DLC for um, Control. So it'd be kind of weird to play Alan Wake 2 without whatever context that would give me, right? Or at least I think so. I don't know. I, I don't know what's in that. I don't know how vital that DLC is, but I still want to play it even if it's not super vital. That's just the way I am. And then should I play the original Alan Wake first on the stream? Like I've played, I played Alan Wake and I played uh, Undead Nightmare already, so I have played those games and the DLCs. Um, actually, fairly recently too. And that's the other thing is like I recently played through those games. Do I want to replay them again? And then do I want to do the original Alan Wake remake that I have not played, or just play the original Alan Wake that I have played several times already? Oh, so many. So many options. What a what a terrible problem to have, right? Oh shit, I didn't even notice we got 99. Oh, wow, okay. There we go, this place should get me up to 100. There's lots of those dudes here. Ah. What? I thought I healed, did I not? I must have not finished the healing. Shit, that's all right. And so it would probably make sense to play like Alan Wake uh, Alan Wake, American Nightmare, or whatever it's called, then Control, then the DLCs for Control, and then, um, and then play Alan Wake 2, right? That's the fucked up part about that. So, I don't know. There's so many horror games that I can play that I'm not worried about, like, actually having a game play. There's so many that I still want to play and have to play. We um we started, uh, what was it? Um, Fatal Frame three last year, and unfortunately I never finished it because I kind of like stopped streaming for a bit. Um, so actually that's probably the game we'll open up with if I'm oh ow. If I'm gonna play one because I feel like I definitely need to do that game because I cut it like didn't give it its due and I didn't stop playing it or streaming it because it was bad or nothing it's just uh, stuff happened you know life
getting pretty close. Oh, okay. Ow. Come on. Oh, come on. What is going on? What? Okay. I don't know why I couldn't do that one. All right. We're almost there. Sorry for the bit. I just want to get to 100. I want to get the achievement. I want to just hit that good, you know, good number, good big number. And we're pretty much already done. So, I, you know, just to, like, give this episode a little longer. Who knows? The boss might take me forever to do. So, who knows? But, like, just in case... That's funny that that can just happen in the air like that. <laughs> um. that it? Yes! Level 100. Achievement unlocked. Ruined one. Le reach level 100. Alright, just out of curiosity, I just want to see if I still get experience. Like, can you go higher? We're not going to. I'm just curious. Nope. That's as high as you're going to get. Awesome. Cool. Alright. It's time to see what's down at the bottom. Ay, ay, ay. All my weapons that I'm using are leveled up. What I guess I probably should do is, I'm assuming, I mean, I'm assuming there's going to be a fight down there, right? Like, there's almost no way there isn't. I should probably, like, put on things. Let's see. Potency of healing prayer, so that increases the amount of blight. So we don't need that. Increases blight. We don't need that. Hastens healing, so that increases height of your jump. We probably don't need that. Movement speed, that we might want. This we might want. Damage dealt, of course. Maximum healing. Pain for pur uh, purification. So we still have five. So let's see. What is what are we looking at? Slightly increase HP, maximum HP, reduces damage. Oh, reduces damage received from enemies is probably really good. Oh wait, hold on. Let's put on the good one. There we go. And then we have one slot. What can we put on for one? It's, I guess probably just this. There you go. And we'll see. We'll see if we need any of the other ones. I don't think we do, but we might. You never know. Now, I never figured out how to get whatever's in this room. I gotta get up there. Oh, shit. You know what? Okay. Let's go back. My bad. <clears throat> I forgot about that. Let's go put on those two weapons that um, will let us go further and higher up. Or spirits, I guess. They're not weapons. Okay. So we're lock we're talking about this one and this one. No wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. no 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 no. Not this one. Uh yes, this one. Alright. Now we'll do it. I think this will be enough. Okay. Nope. Wrong thing. 
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Stagnant Blight, baby. Alright, that's it. And then I guess whatever's down below, but we'll figure that out. I probably won't need all. I, I don't. I hope I don't need this stuff down there. I guess we'll find out, though. All right, save, and let's go. So yeah, tons of games, tons of games to play. It's just, I wish, you know, sometimes I wish they would just stop making them. Like, hey, stop making games for like, I don't know, three years, right? Obviously that's one, not realistic. Two, people would need to work, right? So I don't want people to go, to not go with, or to go without work, but like, you know, just, all right, here we go. Man, that like, that breathing, creepy. Probably nothing. Oh, there's 100% something up there. Fuck. Really? Alright, well, hold on. Let's keep going. Ow. Drawing nearer now, and I've never understood more clearly. She's out there at the end of this blighted breadcrumb trail. Okay, that was it. So there is no hidden stuff. Okay, good to know. So we don't have to go back and see that one spot. <laughs> I was wrong.
Oh shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, memorial. Reach every respite. Oh, this is the last one. Okay. Read. Freysia's... Freysia? Freysia? I don't know. Memoirs 5. I want to see the sky, the magnificent blue sky. I had lost hope in ever drawing again, and yet my left hand brings hope. If I can tame it to write, maybe. Oh, to be spirited away by some kind of soul, even just for a brief respite. Reach as wills. Obtain findings 24 through 28. Pick up White Priestess's earrings. Uh, increases maximum number of uses for the healing prayer by one. Er earrings worn by the White Priestess of the font bestowed as a gift from the prior priestess. She became the White Priestess at the day of her 14th birthday. Oh, cool. Still something else in here. Sil uh, Silva's Blightstain Note 2. Their research in the Verboden domain was meant to find a cure for the White Priestess of the Font, but instead, they chose to carry out grotesque experiments on live human subjects. The White Priestess has no heir, so they dared to try to create their own. The mages who carry out these experiments, the King and Chief Guardian who approve them, they've all gone mad. Just what do they intend to do with these er priestesses? Will they replace the White Priestess? with one of these abominations. Uh, achievement unlock, ex expose, find all find, uh, obtain all findings. Find all findings. Ah, uh, there's still something else here. What did we miss? What else is here? Aha. Uh -huh. Something. Boop. <laughs> Max HP plus five. Attain maximum HP. Okay, oh, there's still more here. Huh. Maybe on the other side? Maybe. Rest. Okay. How much does this new one cost? Two. Okay, well, we can get rid of this. It hastens the heat. That's too good. Potency, that's too good. We probably... Mm, I wonder if we need this. Anymore. We might not. So, White Priestess earrings. Statue... Doll and earrings. Wait, were we always like this lit up? Or is it, are we, hmm, hold on. Or am I just, is it another one of those situations where I'm just noticing something? Yep, it sure is. Okay, I didn't realize she was so lit up. Save. Let's go. Oh, nope. There's still something here.
Oh, what the hell? What are we missing? What could we possibly be missing? Let me check. supposed to be some stuff in here but I don't okay well fuck it let's go achievement uh visitant journey to all maps there she is at long last the white priestess of the font coming here was pointless Please be rid of this place. It's too late for me. Oh, my lord. Okay. Far not so bad. This is one of those games where the last boss is a pushover. I'm talking a lot of shit right now. This is probably gonna kick my ass. Yep. <laughs> God damn. Those things. Alright. Let's try this again. what I wanted to do, damn it. Honestly, this seems like it's the right way. <laughs> oh, okay. That actually comes back pretty damn quick. There's no way that this is like the last, uh oh. The last boss, right? Like this is definitely like, you defeat this one and then the second version of it comes out or whatever. This is way too easy. What the fuck is that? Oh shit. Alright, get away from that.
Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> it just suddenly does a new move. Oh my god. Okay. That's fine. That's not too bad. We're literally like. <sighs> that always happens to me. I don't know. Blighted Lord. So who's this person then? I don't think I've been following along the story very well. Oh shit. Go! Oh, don't waste it! Damn it, I wasted it. Alright, this doesn't. I don't know. This. There's no way this is the final boss, right? Unless this is like the final boss with a good ending. But usually, like, even that means like the bosses are super hard, right? Like, good ending doesn't give you easy boss, it gives you the hardest boss. Oh shit, okay. Heal. Oh, I'm out. Fuck. There it is. Yeah. Stop. Come no further. Or you too will be consumed by my blight. No, because I have that pendant. Or whatever. It feels like there's some sound effects missing there. Oh, Jesus. Alright, here's the real boss. And I have nothing. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Ah, those, those fish are what, what are killing me. Yeah. Damn. Damn. It's those fish that are doing doing me in like that. Damn it, they do so much damage.
and at homes too. Those things are bullshit. All right. So do I have the thing? I do have. Do I, I have the thing that's like, yeah, way less damage. Greater this is damage received from enemies. That's crazy. That even with that, these guys are. Maybe I should. Mm, okay. Maybe I don't need the dashing through the snow. Okay, so parry, potency of healing, maximum, hastens damage, maximum usage, protects, greatly reduces, and maximum. Okay. So with the last two, oh, that, that's, we could do this one, slightly reduces damage. We could do this one, recover a small... Oh, no, we can't, because we can't fit that shit. Slightly increases damage dealt by airborne attacks might be the right call here. Because we're... A lot of our attacks are in the air, so... kill these things as fast as I can. Alright. on is Oop. come on hit him ah uh, that sucks That was actually going pretty good. Bye. We, we were pretty close there. Like, we, we almost had it down. I was about to use a healing, but we sort of had, like, what, five more left? That would have been pretty good. Oh, come on. Now I'm just playing bad. Yeah, what the fuck? So probably my biggest complaint with this game is like, touching enemies hurts you. It's like the one downfall of like, um, Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's like one of the best games ever created, but And I think there's a trinket that turns that off, and that's that trinket is like a lifesaver in that game.
Alright, let's heal him. Okay. The best strategy for those guys is to just not let them even exist. bad at timing that shit. Alright, I'm halfway down on healing. Ah, oh, fucking aim. I don't know what it's doing, but it's probably very bad. Uh-oh. What? What? Oh, come on! How do you miss- oh, wait, what? Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, is it like- getting too weak. Is that what this is? Nice. This is cool. Dawn Prayer. Witness ending C. Okay, purify. This is probably the good ending. It's got to be the good ending. Oops, one second.
Ah, shit. I was muted. The same priestess who were made to take on my blight. My bad, I was muted that time. From nearby, I could barely make out the voices of Coven members. The blight transfer rite was about to begin. The priestesses, knowing nothing of their fate, nuzzled up to me. Uh-oh. These children would be sacrificed to keep me alive. Well, that's why there are so many of them dead. What was it all for? The time I spent with them was what truly saved me. If I am to pass on a legacy to these children, let it be one of hope, not suffering. But how? How is this happening? Could one, could one white priestess alone have such power? No, that amulet. You made it whole again? All the fragments? All the shadows of our history? The unknowable suffering? You're going to bear it all from now on? I see. You came all this way with everyone. Thank you for freeing us all, for freeing me. You accomplished what I couldn't. You were never just a clone of myself. You're your own person, Lily. You've grown so much. It's time I should be going. I'll be watching over you. We'll always be together. <clears throat> oh, shit. There you go. And that was... And your lilies. I really enjoyed that game. I think it was pretty cool, very fun, and uh, unscrutable story. I mean, I kind of get it. The they found the ancients, right? Or some child of the ancients took it because they took it. The blight came out, took them all over. They used the blight to try to make a mortality. Uh, but it didn't really, it worked out, but it didn't work out, blah, blah, blah. They had a priestess who kind of took in the blight, like, uh, it's kind of, that's where I get a little blurry, like, what actually going on? But, like, the priestess was essentially healing the blight and taking it into her. And in order to make this happen, they had to sacrifice a bunch of children to do that. And because we put together the amulets, we were able to save her or let her go, like, move on to the, like, let her die, essentially, and then take over her place. And I think the blight is gone, that's why the, I think the, 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 the castle and stuff, like, stopped raining and looked nicer and stuff, I think it's, just, it's supposed to say that, like, the world will recover from this kind of sort of thing. So, that's what I got, I don't know. It's very cool though. Very good game. Amazing music. I love the music. The visuals are very nice. Um, yeah. Oh, this is probably all going to get muted, isn't it? Yeah, this is almost assuredly going to get muted. Even though I'm talking over it. We'll just lower it down just to make sure. But yeah, that's definitely going to get muted. Um, yeah. Cool. I, I had fun. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, I just had a really good time playing that. Yeah. So now we got credits. Let's see, is this game gonna have like 30 minute long credits? I hope not. Oh, 
I wonder if anything unlocks like a hard mode or some sort of like boss rush or something. I don't, I mean, I won't be playing that, but I'm just curious. So we got ending A and C. So that means there's an ending B, which I'm assuming is if you don't get all the fragments together and don't get the amulets repaired. That's probably what that is. I wonder if this like stop brings us back to the beginning or lets me start from uh, pretty much the right before the final boss and then if so we could always try to take off the amulet and see if anything changes. done. At long last, for each a proper burial. Lily, take heart, you are not alone. The blight may have taken them, but they are still watching over us. And I will never leave your side. Oh shit. Huh. So yeah, she's definitely like got that corruption in her. Ender Lilies, amidst a collapsed world, her words echo out. Thank you for finding your way to me. There you have it, folks. Ender Lilies, quietest of the nights. I don't know what quietest is. I'm assuming that's just some word I gotta look up, but... I don't know, that was fun. And, oh, this does... Oh, new game... So it does have new game plus... Hold on. Should we do this? Should we see? Oh, pick up lost heirloom. Oh, okay, hold on. Allows the recollection of one's unblighted form. A hair ornament made from a pale flower received from the white priestess of the font. After the blight immobilized her, the priestess of the font gifted these handmade ornaments as blessings to the other priestesses of her stead. Oh, okay. So you can. Put, I wonder. You put that on, and you won't be. Super blighted looking anymore? I'm assuming that costs zero. Let's put that on. You may now access blight mode, uh, blight born modes. Toggle these optional challenging modes to tailor your desired game experience. You may now access maligned memories. Prepare for back to back battles against each previous purified boss whose memories you have viewed. Okay, so they both. What's this? Oh. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh, the, oh, yes, you can turn off. This should have been in the beginning. I would have turned this shit off immediately. Oh, wow. So you, this is mostly to make the game harder. Begin boss rush. <laughs> So there, there's absolutely a boss rush. Credits to an epilogue. Hmm. Relics. Yep, this costs zero. Yep, and we're like pure form. Look at that. Um, let's remove this. And let's try that again. I wonder if doing the the the, the malign malignant thing or whatever. Like, uh, ooh, wait, hold on. Let's see if anything's different. At long last, the white priestess of the font. Coming here was pointless. Flee, be rid of this place. It's too late for me. Okay, this is all probably the same. Yep. Alright, let's do this one more time. Although now I'm not going to be taking damage by just touching things, which is amazing. Oh. Look at that.
What? Hey. That's not supposed to hurt me. Uh oh. Come on. Ugh. Is there any other relics? Hold on. Let me just look at these relics one more time. Is there anything? Potency of the healing prayer. Seems good. Like, why would we? Hastens the healing prayer is also pretty good. Increases damage. Maximum number. Greatly reduces damage received from it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's really much to change. So let's just keep, let's just try this one more time. Do so much damage, it's insane. And that's and that's me wearing that thing that like greatly reduces damage taken. I can't. What what is it like? What is this like without that? Get out of there. You can't, you gotta stay, you have to stay in the center here. You're only gonna. Oh. Yeah, you're only gonna get screwed being out there. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, so let's see what happens now. Anything different. Journey's end. Witness ending B. Oh, okay. Stop. Come no further. Or you too will be consumed by my blight. Surely you saw many flowers on your journey here. We did. The awful rain of death darkening the skies of land's end. Thriving on the rain, they blossom off my blighted blood or body, the root of the scourge. I can feel the blight surging through my form. If I, if only I had control over its spread, I could then stop it at the source. Perhaps a day will come when I can hold back the blight without it seeping out. Not that it matters anymore. 
I just wish the world didn't require that you bear the burden of the blight. You're the only clone of myself left. Lily, even knowing what you do now, do you wish to remain with the Priestess of the Font? Will you bear the blight together? No. This suffering is mine to bear and mine alone. Purify. Please don't let this be your fate. Please. Okay. And then this is a different, obviously, background. Maybe a different song. We'll see here in a second. Actually, I can't tell. That doesn't sound familiar, so it might be a different song. I don't know. Um, yeah, there you go. So that's the ending B. We'll see what kind of uh, little end title card thing they have, and then if they have an epilogue. And uh, there we go. And then there should be like an item to pick up. Uh, just like we had an item this time to pick up after getting ending C. I think after you get ending B, you also get an item you can pick up. And then there's a new game plus mode, which obviously we're not going to get into. But it's available. Uh, I wonder what it is, actually. Like, I wonder if they increase the level cap or something. Or like, uh, or maybe you just start at level 100. You know? I don't know. We'll, we'll just look at it, just see it really quickly. But uh, yeah, we're not, we're not going to play through it, obviously. Um... I already said everything I want to say. This game's great. Uh, I love that it did do the, the classic Metroidvania thing of like the good ending gets you an extra boss battle, so it is harder. Okay, I was worried that it, that wasn't the case, but obviously that was a lot easier because you only had to get through the first phase. Um, by Casey Way, composition Casey Way, and Yamato Kasai. I'm sure I'm pronouncing those correctly, and there's no corrections that are needed. Thank you very much. Yes. something for dinner. Mm -mm -mm, I'm thinking a sub. Yeah. But first, let's just see what this is at. Tacked at HK. Hmm, that's a name. Or maybe that must be like a um, company name, not a person name. Koji Uno. this developer has done I don't know like I, I didn't really do much research on this developer I wonder what they've done before and if they've made anything since because this game came out a little while ago as far as I know there's never any DLC or anything all right let's see Ender Lily she whispers from the abyss bound as one we shall never be apart So I go and join her in. Oh, okay. There it is. Pick up Blighted Phantom. Calls forth the visage of the Blighted White Priestess. A phantom of blight since uh, a phantom of blight since purified, or blight yet to stain the White Priestess. Curious what blight should appear so early, reminiscent of uh, of tears. 
collector. Obtain all relics. Okay, you can't have both on at the same time. Yep, and then you're just like super blighted looking, which is... Should be just a standard look, right? Huh. I guess maybe if you new game plus it. Alright, let's save. Credits one. There you go. So there's a boss rush. I'm surprised there are not more of those. Um, save. And then depart. Okay. Now if I go to back to title screen, let's just take a look at New Game Plus. Lily's status, actions, spirits, relics, and findings from previous save file will carry over, and a New Game Plus save file will be created in its place. All enemies will be as strong as end game counterparts. Some items related to story progress will not carry over. Oh, okay. That's cool. All right. So there you go. That was Under Lilies. Thank you for watching. This has been Bulbachu. Um, say hi in the comments or whatever. Uh, I am streaming a little bit again. So catch me if you can. Twitch.tv slash uh, Um Just like my, my YouTube thing. Uh, thanks for watching. It's been fun. Stay sexy. Stay beautiful. And... Don't forget to put the amulet together before you go take on the blight. Goodbye.